Yes, I'm a hoarder. Oh my goodness me. behind me with all of the handbags in it i got some requests to my shoes and also there is just oh my goodness where i show you what is on this floor it is a disgrace so i'm going to work through it work through the shoes tidy that up get the dressing room the closet the wardrobe whichever sorted get the pieces kind of placed mm, i'm gonna show you along as we go and um, hopefully this works out and then whenever i get it finally finished I will be able to film my closet tour to give you guys a look around. Um, I know it's been really, really highly requested. So whenever I do that, hopefully I have um, the wardrobes, the drawers, the bags, the shoes, everything sorted and I can give you a full tour. Um, and yeah, I better get stuck in because wait till you see what is on this floor. So I guess I'm a hoarder. Oh my goodness me. Um, Part of organizing the room upstairs is to help me clear out the dressing room which has got a little bit overrun and oh my goodness i'm a complete hoarder i just can't throw these boxes and bags out and uh, sorry if you hear banging it's because my husband's still trying to get a bit more done on the room upstairs it's going to become like an office closet clothis type room but i don't even know where to start oh my goodness me look at the state of this floor yeah, total hoarder. Wish me luck, everybody. When I did the organise my handbag video, which in hindsight really was starting the easiest bit to start with, or picking the easiest bit to start with, look at this floor. I can't even get across the floor. I'm only five foot one, and I've just had to go over there to get the step to let me get to the shelves in the wardrobes, and I couldn't pick my way across the floor. It's an absolute nightmare. It's a disgrace. My husband just walked in and if you'd saw the look on his face, um, yeah, not too happy. So someone had said to me at the time about uh, doing a video about organising my shoes. So I've, I don't know if this will work or not, but I've pulled some of them out. There's some up there. I'm thinking maybe these shells, I could maybe get something up there. Um, and, and shoes down there. And if we spin around, there's also... <laughs> shoes over here so organizing this i don't even know where i started um look right okay let's enough of just go and look and let's get stuck in these shells are cleared out and polished um let's see how we go with these first i'm kind of stuck on the top because i'm so small i can't really see what's up there so trying to figure out to put up there what I don't really use. Okay, so instead of sticking to the probably wise idea of starting with these empty shelves and clearing some space on the floor, I decided instead, I don't know why, but decided instead to clear this shelf up here. And I've taken everything that was on that shelf and added it into the general mess. Do you see? Isn't it? Oh my goodness, me. Do you see my floor? <laughs> I, th I think I, okay. All right, okay, yep, so, yep, that seemed like a good idea at the time. Put knee-high boots up here, which I think is a better use of the space. Um, Before that just had like empty boxes and some summer clothes, but I think that frees up more space in the other unit. And I think because, this sounds silly, but I am really small. Um, And I think because they're knee-high boots and they're long, if you're looking up there, you actually want to see them rather than forgetting something's there. So I'm thinking that so far. Now it is obviously better if you can stand your knee high boots up straight with the leg holders and keep them straight up. I don't, even with all the space, I know I'm very fortunate with the um, dressing room I have, but even with that space, I don't really have anywhere that's knee high boot length. And we have all this to fit in um, and all those. <laughs> and I know I'm trying to do the room upstairs to give extra space, a kind of like an office, office but if I can't see something I forget about it so my fear would be if I don't have like my knee-high boots in here 
um, I would just forget about them when it comes to actually picking an so we're outfit. We're going, uh, we're in autumn going into winter and it's Ireland so it's cold and it's wet. So I've put my more summery shoes on the bottom two shelves because I'm thinking they're the ones that are going to get the least, um, the least work. So the bottom shelf's a little bit wider so you can fit that little bit more. And then I have these ones just turned around a little bit. That's actually maybe looks a little bit better. Maybe I should change the bottom. Now if I change these bottom ones around to look like those ones do, then I can't fit the extra Gucci Princeton's down the side. So we'll see what we are like for space. The next two shelves up, I've rent ankle boots. And as this one's all black, so we have those in the back. As you get higher up for me, with my height, it gets harder to see what's behind. So the higher up, I'm trying to go for different colors. So as the tan, even if you're looking at the shelf and you see what's at the front, you can see the tan at the back. Because as I say, I am terrible that if I can't see something, I will forget about it. Somebody came to help. I don't think that's going to speed things up very much. <laughs> So I've got rid of some rubbish. I was about to say, look, there's some progress, but that really doesn't look like progress, does it? Um, I have a donation pile over here. I've already taken some out to put into the bag to be donated. And then I'm packing boxes inside boxes and I have broken down some of the LV boxes. So I'm going to try and work through some of these, um, <laughs> make them smaller and see if I can find places to put these away because I just can't bring myself to throw out the package. And is anybody else like that? Because I know my husband thinks it's ridiculous and I know it probably is ridiculous. Like, look at the amount of it. But um, I just can't. Um, please let me know if I'm not the only crazy person. Well, that actually is some progress. That's that's definitely not as bad as it was. I appreciate it's still a bit of a mess, but it's definitely not as bad. So we have put up here... Oh, <laughs> it's like playing Tetris with Chanel boxes. And, you know, I really... I appreciate first world and all that. Um, I I think probably clearing all this out, yeah, brings it home. Um, one how fortunate of a position and to what the world is going through, but let's not bring us all down. So yeah, we have all um Chanel boxes up there playing Tetris, and then all of the I have in this corner um carrier bags squeezed in and some at the very top and I, I don't know about you guys but if my husband gives out and can't understand why I don't throw out the boxes you should hear him about the carrier bags it's quite frankly I'm fed up listening but I don't know what it is I just don't I just don't like throwing them out I don't know what it is and then um, as here I've just put the shorts that we took out of the other shelf that was to allow us to put the knee-high boots in. It also had a lot of like jewellery boxes and smaller boxes. So I have tetris them all into this big Louis Vuitton box, which is easier to put away somewhere. So let's have a go at the rest of this now. In somewhere. So I've put all the spare dust bags into this um, Louis Vuitton box. I have another box um, filled with spare dust bags. I am just incapable of throwing things out. Um, Please tell me I'm not the only one. I've left some of the spare boxes in the room upstairs that hopefully is going to become a office, closet slash office. Husband thinks office, but we have ulterior motives. Um, and now I need to kind of <laughs> do this. Try and sort this out and sort out these drawers. Um, hmm. Okay, keep going. Day two. <laughs> um, it's getting a little bit better. Um, you can still see, you can see the mess over here that still needs to be sorted out. Um, these are kind of, yeah, better. So we're getting there. Um, I just have to sort mm, some of this stuff that I've just kind of left. And this is how I have found the time to do it. I've let him play with this. <laughs> but yeah, I'm getting there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just finish off these drawers. I have ordered a few more pieces, small things from Amazon just to help me um, tidy some other things up. 
and then once they arrive i should have everything else sorted and be able to do the closet tour which i know um certainly one of my friends on instagram is going to defriend me if i don't get it done soon so yep it won't be too long once these little bits from amazon um come i can finish off some bits and pieces and then i will do the closet tour and show you what the finished article looks like yes finally it's definitely another day but finally um it's coming together just waiting on some of those things to come from amazon um two did arrive and they had to go straight back they were complete and utter rubbish but it's getting there i um thank you so much for watching this thank you for watching me try and make some uh progress and order out of the mayhem and hopefully i will be in a position to film the closet tour very very soon Again, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. I hope you're well and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.